Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can very easily and consistently make the perfect soft boiled or hard boiled egg in your Instant Pot. So I've seen a lot of methods out there for making hard boiled eggs in your Instant Pot. I've spent the last few weeks trying every method that I could find to see which one was gonna give me the most consistent results. So after much trial and error, I finally came up with a system that I think will work for you every single time. So let me show you how you're gonna do this. First of all, you're gonna make sure that the liner is in the pot, on your Instant Pot, and then you're going to use the trivet that came with the pot, okay? That's gonna keep the eggs from resting on the bottom of the pot and they're gonna hold the eggs for us. So, these eggs are right out of the refrigerator. I did not let them come to room temperature. And I'm going to simply just take them and set them into the pot. You can put up to about a dozen of eggs on this tray, but I'm just gonna do six for this video. Okay, so I've got my eggs and they are sitting on the trivet. Now, you want to put one cup of water into the pot. We're gonna put the lid on. Now you wanna make sure the ring is set nicely inside the top. Put the lid on and make sure that it's in the sealed position. Okay, so up to this point, everything is done the same for whether you're going to make a soft or hard boiled egg. Now, here's where the difference comes in. We're going to use the steam function and that is gonna set it to the normal setting. For a soft boiled egg, we are going to set the timer for four minutes. If you wanted a hard boiled egg, you will set the timer for 12 minutes. Now I'm gonna leave it at 12 minutes because I'm actually gonna make deviled eggs with these uh, that come out of the pot this time. And we're going to let this cook for the time that you've chosen, either four minutes for soft boiled, 12 minutes for hard boiled. And once that time is up, we're gonna naturally release, I'm sorry, not naturally, we're going to manually release the pressure and let the pressure come down and then immediately take the eggs and place them into an ice water bath and that is what is going to stop the cooking process and give us the perfect egg so the way that i came up with these times is the pot takes about two or minutes maybe three minutes to build up enough pressure for this timer to go on, okay? So within that couple of minutes, about half of that, I would say the, the water's heating up and it's actually starting to cook the egg. Then you have the time that you've set. In this case, it's 12 minutes. And once I release that pressure, it's gonna take another minute or so for it to come down. So the total cook time of this a 12 minute egg is actually about 14 minutes. And 14 minutes is what I typically use for a, a hard boiled egg, whether I wanna use that for a snack or I wanna make deviled eggs or egg salad or something like that. So typically people are only gonna use a soft boiled egg for say like toast where you have a runny yolk and, and that's how you like your egg in the morning or a hard boiled egg for snacks and deviled eggs and things like that. So that's why I'm giving you these two times. Now, this the timing is also going to depend somewhat on where you live. So I live at 1000 feet above sea level and this time will probably work for you if you're somewhere in that range or below that. Once you start getting over say um, 2,000 feet above sea level, then you're gonna have to start adjusting your, your cooking times because it does take longer at much higher altitudes. So um, once this is done, 
I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to, to take these out and put them in the ice bath. And then I'm gonna show you how easy they are to peel because that's another thing that the Instant Pot does is because it's basically steaming the eggs that is a method that makes eggs easier to peel, whether they are fresh eggs or older eggs, like weak or more old eggs. So let's wait for this to do its job and we'll be back. Okay, it looks like we still have a little bit of time left uh, on these eggs. So I wanted to kind of go over a couple of options that you have as far as the, uh, the inserts that you can put in to hold eggs. I have done some experimenting. My friend jokes that this is the big egg experiment, okay? Uh, because literally I have, I, I don't even know how many eggs I've cooked to come up with this really simple method that I'm showing you right now. But this trivet that comes with the Instant Pot will hold, like I said, about a dozen eggs on it. Uh, pretty safely. I have done that and that worked really well. If you happen to have lost that trivet, uh, you can use a metal colander such as this. You just need to make sure that it fits inside of the Instant Pot, but this bottom of the colander will help keep it off the, the bottom of the pot. I also, Frida Loves Bread had a suggestion that I thought was pretty genius. These are paper egg cartons, and it's actually one that I took and cut that's just like this. Uh, I cut it down to fit inside, and then I, you know, I stacked my eggs inside of this, put this one on top of it, and put four more eggs. So I was able to get a whole dozen eggs just using this. Now, I did put this on top of my trivet to keep it from uh, being on the bottom, but I was able to to stack them if that's something that you're interested in doing. So that's just another option, uh, just in case you don't have that trivet. I know that there are stackable egg trivets that are made specifically for the Instant Pot, and I will try to leave a link to some of those products below. You can just go to Amazon and get those. So um, I think that's all the little tips that I had. Another thing that I really love, and I think I got this at Walmart. Um, they have these little silicone uh, ends on these tongs. And I don't know if you've ever tried to pick up a, an egg with just regular metal tongs, but these silicone tongs are awesome because they really grip, even though these, you know, the eggs are wet basically from the steam. And if you try to use one of those metal tongs, then it's just, it's kind of hard to grip them. So these work really well at taking them out. So um, another thing that I wanted to let you know is that if you go to my website, I have experimented with several different cooking times uh, that are in between this really soft boiled egg and the hardest boiled egg. And I've come up with an equation that you can use to convert any stovetop hard boiled egg recipe into an instant pot hard boiled egg recipe. And it's just really super simple. If a recipe calls for a 10 minute hard boiled egg that you would make on your stovetop, you just simply take two minutes from that. So it's 10 minutes minus two minutes equals eight minutes. That's the time that you will set on this timer. And then once it's done, you will immediately uh, release the pressure and take them out and put them into the ice water bath. And again, that's because we're taking those two minutes off of that cook time because there's a, a minute or so that it's building up the pressure before the timer starts. And then when you release it, it takes about a minute to come down. So that's where that two minute difference is. And I've tested it with, with, you know, eight minute, 10 minute, 12 minute, 14, and it's been pretty consistent. But I would suggest that because we all live in different areas with different altitudes, and that does make a difference in your cooking time, I would suggest taking one or two eggs, putting it in the Instant Pot, and, and doing like a test run. And that way, in the future, you always know how many minutes you need to set your 
Instant Pot for, for whatever recipe you're making. It's really just that simple. The um, America's Test Kitchen and also the Egg Board or the American Egg Association recommend uh, steaming your eggs in order to get the easiest to peel egg. And it really does work. So the Instant Pot is perfect for steaming eggs. And at this point, this is probably the only way that I'm ever gonna do it unless I just don't have an Instant Pot with me to, to do it with. So there we go. So let me get a rag. And the reason why I'm getting a rag or a pot holder is because the steam that's gonna come out of here is going to be very, very hot. So let's go ahead and just move that into the, the venting position. So all the steam will come out. And then uh, you won't be able to take this top off of the Instant Pot until this little button comes down. That's a safety valve and it just makes sure that you're not gonna, you know, have anything go wrong. So we're just going to lift this off. Now, when I do stuff that has a lot of steam, I like to do put the, um, the lid on the side if you have this brand because the, the condensation goes into this little, little cup in the back. I'm not sure if you've ever noticed that or not before but that's what that is for. So let's get these out of here so they stop cooking. And hopefully I have a big enough bowl here. So I'm gonna let these sit and you really don't even need to let them sit for, for that long. A few minutes is good enough. So let's just let those sit for a few minutes and I'm going to move this out of the way. Let me just go ahead and Move this just so we have a little bit more space here. And you really just want these um, cool enough to where that you, you can handle them. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and see how easy it is to peel just after, you know, not even a minute in the water. Um, uh, I find the easiest way to peel an egg is I like to tap the, the top and the bottom and then roll it. And that's just gonna help kind of break that membrane away from it. And then it just, <laughs> just peels right off of it. I mean, it is just amazing how easy these are to peel. Just rinse it off a little bit. And then let's slice in and see what it looks like. And there you go. Look, it's, it's really just, it's perfect. So I am going to make some deviled eggs with these. And um, that recipe is going to be coming up very, very soon. So watch out for that. I'll link it back to this video once it's done. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another batch with the soft boiled eggs, just so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna get those going for four minutes and then when they're done, then I'll bring you back and I'll just cut it open so you can see what it looks like. Okay, we've got our soft boiled egg here. So I'm gonna crack it open. With the soft boiled eggs, I do feel like you have to be a little bit more gentle when you're peeling them, just because the inside is not set, so there's a little bit less structure. So let me see if I can get this peeled without it falling apart. It's gonna be, like I said, it's the whole, the entire, the white and the, the yolk and everything is softer. So it's, it's just a little bit more delicate. So just be kind of a little bit more careful. All right. Just rinse that off a little bit. And we'll cut it open and you can see what it looks like. You see how that's got just a nice runny yolk, which is perfect 
for dipping toast in. So one of the things that I was going to try to do is I'm going to I'm going to break open another one of these and see if we can't get it set into the, uh, the little egg holder cup so we can dip it. Oh, see that one just broke. So I'm saying these are, like I said, these are a little bit more delicate, okay, the soft boiled eggs. So just take your time with these. should be able to get it to come open. The hard boiled eggs, you're not, you're, I mean, you're never going to have a problem peeling them. It's just the softer ones. So, But I thought it might be cute. And I know a lot of times when people do soft boiled eggs, they will leave them in the shells for presentation. But what I thought we could do is set this in this little egg cup, just like that. And then We're gonna cut the top off of this very gently. See if we get to the yolk. Oops, we weren't quite there yet. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Whoops, actually, you know what? Hopefully you can see this on the camera, but I can kind of see the, the yolk kind of poking through there. So what you would do is just Poke your, your toast sticks right in there, see? Then you can dip. Mm. Dip your toast. And the kids should really like that. It's kind of a cute presentation. Mm. And then of course, well, let's dip a little bit more. Mm. I love egg yolks. I just love them. Then, of course, you can eat the egg white. Mm. So, you can also, if you just make toast, you can just set these right over the toast, just like that, instead of putting it in the little little egg holder and then of course just use your fork to to eat it with so anyway that is how to make your hard-boiled and your soft-boiled egg in the instant pot I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on making the perfect hard-boiled and soft-boiled egg in your instant pot if you go to my website you can find a printable recipe for these and also that equation on how you can convert any hard boiled egg recipe that you would normally cook on your stove top into an instant pot recipe. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more really simple recipes. Until next time, bye.